Steve Mitchum with Tool Tab Roofing. I am here at the Gadow residence. I'm doing a roof inspection. Uh, so Mrs. Gadow, um, basically, I'll show you the leak area in a second here. I just wanted to show you a couple of small things. Um, right along here, these tiles are starting to slip out. Um, you see some of them are slipped out more than others, um, but they're starting to slip out. So just basically kick those back underneath this flashing and seal them up uh, with a tile adhesive. And then uh, we got one tile right here that's just starting to fall off uh, the edge over the back patio. We just want to make sure we get that sealed back up. And then uh, broken tile here, broken tile there. And then here's a broken tile. Somebody sealed, probably the solar guys. And then uh, broken tile down here. So just a few broken tiles, typical tile roof stuff. Um, the leak is right where this dormer vent is. So that's a dormer vent right there. Um, or sorry, not a dormer vent, an O'Hagan vent. Um, so right when I look at that area, uh, you don't see a whole lot at first, but as I kind of just upon closer inspection, there is a broken tile right here. So that'll allow water to get onto the underlayment, work its way down. You know, if that's been broken for years, uh, you know, it takes a little time, but then that water eventually works its way in. And then also, um, this tile is slipped out so I can get my hand up under here. So, um, water can now just get right in that vent. So, uh, what I would suggest is just opening this area up here, what we call a square in roofing or a 10 by 10 area, and then, uh, replacing the underlayment in this area and then getting obviously all those broken tiles replaced and that'll take care of that leak.